Let us now take a look at this question. How many moles of hydrogen are contained in 0 0.075 moles of glucose? And the formula of glucose is given as C6H12O6. If you look at this question carefully, you will see that glucose is made up of three elements. However, this question wants us to only focus on one of the elements, hydrogen. When you are faced with a question like this, first, think about one molecule of glucose, which has a formula of C6, H12, or 6. If you can smash this one molecule into pieces, into the individual atoms, this is what you will get. You will get six carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and six oxygen atoms. Which means that by smashing one molecule of C6H12O6, you will get 12 atoms of hydrogen. The relationship between the molecule and the carbon can also be interpreted as one molecule of glucose will provide six atoms of carbon and you can also do the same for oxygen but we are only focusing on hydrogen in this question this relationship can be scaled up And we can interpret it when we scale it up as one mole of C6 H12O6 will give us 12 moles of hydrogen. That tells us the relationship between mole of the compound and mole of the individual element in the compound, which is similar to what this question is asking us. We want to know the moles of hydrogen in the moles of the glucose. Now, it is very easy to solve this problem because if you have 0 0.075 moles of glucose, you can use the relationship that we just found as a conversion factor. And the relationship is that normally one mole of C6H12O6 will give 12 moles of hydrogen. Moles of the glucose will cancel out. If you multiply this out in your calculator, you should get 0 0.9 0 mole of hydrogen. Why is it written as 0 0.90? That is two significant figures, which is also 
similar to the two significant figures in the measurement provided to us. Let us now answer this question that is similar to the one we just completed. Determine the number of moles of oxygen, that is what we want to find, in 2.45 moles of nickel 2 phosphate. In this question, the formula of the compound is not given. We will have to find it ourselves. We have nickel 2. So we have nickel with a charge of plus 2. And then we have phosphate, which is PO4 with a charge of negative 3. To balance out the charges on both of them, we will need three nickel ions and we will need two phosphates. So this is the formula of nickel two phosphate. And in that formula, we have eight oxygen atoms. This means that one formula unit of nickel 2 phosphate has eight oxygen atoms in it. If we scale it up, then one mole of Ni3PO4 parenthesis 2 will contain 8 moles of oxygen. That will be our conversion factor for this question. So if we have 2.45 moles of Ni3 parenthesis open PO4 parenthesis closed to, we then multiply by the conversion factor, which is that one mole of Ni3 PO4 2 will normally give us 8 moles of oxygen. If you cancel out the Ni3PO42 and you multiply by your calculator, you should get 19.6 moles of oxygen.